Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Let's play Donkey Kong Country 3 Part 2. Right now we are still in Lake Orangutanga and I'm going to show you another bonus. Smuggler's Cove. Oh, another banana bird we get to go for. Y A Y Y B. Easy enough. And even if you fail, you can always start over. Or do what I consider doing for the longer puzzles. Cheating! Only this one does not involve a game genie, thank god. Title trouble. And then right off the bat we find ourselves a coin enemy. So let's take him out. See them gay clownfish? They're actually called Cocos. Words cannot describe just how fucked up that name sounds. Personally, gay clownfish would sound like a compliment compared to Coco, if you ask me. But you know what? To each their own. Rare has their ways of shit. I don't really care. All I care about is finishing this game. Easy enough. Ooh, ten bananas. Mm. Yeah, see that? I didn't even need to use that barrel back there. The skill right there. Remember, I played this game too when I was a kid and managed to get like full percentage on that as well. Did you expect anything else from me? Okay, this one's gonna require me to stay stick because it requires a trick to get to that bonus. I'll get on the first try. Only Kitty Kong can do that, so. And I got the bonus here, too. Easy enough, right? Die, whatever you call the thing it's lunch of, whatever. I don't really care. Hey, balloon! Ooh, a snow level. Skidda's row. Ooh, who made the snowman? Um, where's some skates, asshole? Maybe some snowshoes. Lots of hidden coins everywhere, so keep your eyes peeled for suspicious areas. That part wasn't so suspicious. I saw that one coming from a mile away. Gotta have some style there. Die, coin. Kill you, kill you, kill you, and kill you. I didn't really need to, but I like killing things in Donkey Kong Country. Ah, oh, I could only get one. I was hoping I'd be lucky enough to get them both, but whatever. And again, you can really tell if you got everything just by looking at the flag. If the flag is like fully blue or pink, like square, that means you got all the bonuses. And if you see a yellow spot in the middle of the flag, that means you got the DK coin. 
Let's go to Murky Mill, shall we? I hear it's quite emo-ish. Though with not so emo music. Can you imagine if My Chemical Romance did a remix of this song? I'd hate to. That's why I'm not even gonna try to emulate it. Now the purpose behind Murky Mill is that Ellie seems to be afraid of rats to show up in the light. So your objective is to, well, as soon as you see a rat, you kill it. And using barrels will really help to your advantage. Beta. You know what, just for the hell, I'm gonna show you what Ellie looks like when she's scared. Okay, that was cheap, so... Hopefully we can get another DK barrel out of it. I'm gonna kill Buzz. Ooh, bonus! Come back! Come back! I mean, I should just let you get away. Yeah, do that one over. That one sucked. That one also sucked. Yeah, that's better. I wasted some valuable seconds, but whatever, we got through it. My DK buddy's back. Boo. Uh, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna take another steel barrel with me. I might need it. Just careful, those red buzzes are invincible. So don't even, don't even try to attack him. You will only be met with failure. See, that was pretty cool. Admit it. Bonus time. Okay, I gotta make my way around those bees, so... Oh, nothing to it. need to go there, it's not important. Let's take on the first boss, shall we? Belcha's Barn. I like the boss music here. You gotta feed him a golden beetle. Make if he eats it, he'll burp back. You gotta knock him as far back as possible. That's all you do. And hopefully he'll have his mouth open by the time you throw that beetle in. Huh, only two hits. That was easy enough. Thanks for the shortcut. Ah, Kremwood Forest, eh? Alrighty then, let's go in. But you know what? I'm almost out of time, so we will save Barrel Shield Bust Up for the next part. Hope you are patient enough to enjoy. This is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye and see you all later.